Welcome to Hangzhou CIS. Our school was set up in 2013, and all our students are from Hong Kong Chinese International School Year 10. The central aim for this year is to encourage the growth of our students. So this is a one-year boarding school program. And as you can see, we have two buildings. So this is the residential building, and here is the academic building. So far, we have had seven cohort students who graduated from Hangzhou CIS. They have all had such a great comments about their experience here. They commented as the best year of their school life, and also it is a life-changing experience. Now follow me to the academic building first. So we have a face recognition system both on the entry of our buildings, which really ensures our campus safety. As one school, we share the same school mission and also the same school value. Here is our school song, which I really like, like it. We put it here to provide our community with the similarity of the same school feeling. Here is the four banners of our school, Discovery, Beyond, Endeavor, and Connections. They are the innovative uh, spirit of Hangzhou CIS. I'm very proud to show you this product from our Hangzhou six students. It's a culminating PBL product, which was from our Beyond the Project. School really provides students opportunities to develop their personal interests with the time, space, and the choice. Most importantly is we try to let them drive their interests to make the learning more purposeful and meaningful. Of course, we receive lots of guests, our parents and also our educators uh, from other schools and also maybe some visitors of local government officials. Usually people sit here and also they have to read this uh, code of conduct of visitors. And then they do registrations, get the linear card, then go to visit the school. We use China as our classroom. Throughout the year, we provide a range of experiential learning opportunities for students to go to different places of China. So they have been to Beijing, to Shanghai, to many places for their different projects. And also to elevate our school mission of the dual language program. So here is the Wonder in Beijing exhibits. So students, they work on different projects to explore the city of Beijing. Here is another example. Our students have a house retreat. So six houses went to different places of Hangzhou and Zhejiang province. And we also combine this with the Students' Life and Wellbeing program to enhance the team building, the connection of the, the, the houses together. And we, we provide lots of opportunities, try to help students to practice their Chinese language and also to enhance their understanding about Chinese culture. In 2019, we redesigned this classroom and the classroom next door. Um, and we redesigned them as language and literature learning spaces. And we wanted to make sure that the philosophy of these spaces underpinned the philosophy of our school. So they're spaces that we hope are inspirational, they're comfortable, they're warm, they're collaborative. Uh, and they're places where students want to be, either whether they're in class or whether they want to come outside of class to learn on their own. Uh, as you walk in, hopefully you notice we've got different learning stations. So if students want to work in smaller groups, in larger discussion groups, or even in a comfortable space on their own. But ultimately, the goal of this space is for students to feel inspired, for them to feel like they've got people that they can talk to in different forms, but ultimately somewhere where they can feel safe and comfortable. Drama plays an important part of our collaboration program along with the other arts areas. All students are involved in drama throughout the year. We have invested in this space to ensure that the facilities are similar to those available in the Hong Kong spaces. The room is used for collaboration learning experiences, as a performance venue, and as an assembly and gathering places for our student body. It's also accessed by the Greentown students in their regular Tuesday drama lessons. Welcome to the Music Suite. This is where the Hangzhou students all come once a week for their regular choir rehearsals. This space, in addition to supporting choir, orchestra and the other ensembles, is used as part of the collaboration program where students have access to different instruments through the different inquiries. Through these doors, you will find the music classroom and the individual practice rooms which are available to students for individual and collaborative work. Science is part of the collaboration program. Students will use this space to conduct experiments in collaboration groups. 
There are two science labs connected by the preparation room. The lab was set up based on IB requirement and safety standard. So this is a design lab. It's set up for collaboration and autonomy. Um, it's got everything you need for the students to work independently and collaboratively. The equipment is perfectly designed for the students to do all their projects. So it has 3D printers, as well as sewing machines, all the equipment you need for wood cutting, laser cutter, as well as a laminator. We also have a lab technician that was here full time working for health and safety reasons with the students as and when they need. This is one of my most favorite places. Every day I walk through the stairways, looking at these, our alumni, and which they are so familiar to me. I miss them a lot, actually, and often recall the best memories that I have with them, that we had together. They have grown so much throughout the year, not only just physically, but also becoming more mature, independent, and resilient. I'm just so proud of them. Hi, here is our art studio. And uh, visual art in Hangzhou CIS is part of uh, collaboration curriculum. And so here is all art activity happening. And students can come here during all the school hours in pursuing their um, classwork or do whatever art form they are interested. We have facility for painting, sketching, and have Chinese ink painting click free. We also have photography facility here, lighting, backdrop. And apart from the classwork, and students can come here to practice their art making as a personal pursuit and enable them to grow in as an artist. Here we come to our Chinese and math classrooms. Our Chinese and math classes are quite small. We differentiated it based on students' level. There are four levels of Chinese, Chinese A, Chinese B high level, Chinese B standard level one, and standard level two. Of course, the Chinese learning is a combination of classroom learning with the experiential learning, and also their dorm life. We try to encourage our coach mentors to speak Chinese to our students. There are three levels of math. Standard math, extended math, and a level between these two. Welcome to the film lab. This is where the magic happens. This is the third floor collaboration room where the equipment and flexible seating promote interdisciplinary collaborative learning. We have dividers that allow us to section off the room into a smaller space and a larger space. As you can see, we have chandeliers from a gala. We also have plenty of mini whiteboards at each table for students to work in groups together. Welcome to the school's counseling space here at Hangzhou CIS. This space is a space for one-to-one -one work with students um, to share their life experiences and journeys, a space to explore difficulties and concerns, and a space to share and celebrate successes, growth, development, and change. In addition to the collaboration room and counseling room, the third floor of our academic building also houses our staff workplace and lounge. It features multiple spaces for teachers to plan lessons, grade, relax between lessons, and share ideas with each other about teaching and learning. The four pillars, China, character, community, and the challenge. Across the four pillars, there are four learning pathways. They are experiential learning, learning in depth, interdisciplinary learning, and personalized learning. These learning pathways can be experienced in a separate individual one or combined together with the support of the high ratio of students and our professional faculties. Then it comes to our curriculum, autonomy, better being, collaboration, and discipline. Of course, we always celebrate the academic accomplishment and also a lifelong love of learning in a very close-knit learning environment as we're living and learning together. So we try to incorporate all the elements into our program and provide all the rich learning and life experiences for our students. 
Okay, now let's go to our residential building. As you can see, we have two wings, the boys' wing and the girls' wing. When they arrived on school campus, we usually have orientation program for three days. So the first night when they come, we announced it very clearly is boys and girls, they cannot cross over the buildings. Yeah, I really like this architecture. It uh, looks really amazing. So this is the home of our students and also for our staff. Welcome. And here we have our security guard. And also we have the face recognition system to go into. We really want to create a cozy and home environment for our students. And also as they are living in China, in this building, we incorporate lots of Chinese cultural elements to make them feel uh, it's living. they are living in China and also to help them to have deep understanding about the Chinese culture. We adopted the six traditional Chinese core values. Ren, Yi, Li, Zhi, Xing, Yong as the six house names. We would like them to understand the meaning of these core values and try to be a good person and also to build up their characters. The library is multifunctional beyond encouraging reading. We use this space for student performances, student committee meetings, assemblies, and as part of the collaboration learning curriculum. We have small group meeting rooms which are used for a linked service learning program, for learning enhancement support meetings with teachers, and for private music lessons. Students come to the library to read, do homework, have small group meetings, and even play board games. Our library provides students with a range of categories of books for pleasure reading and for research. Our students also have access to our secondary online library database, and we have a VPN from our Hong Kong CIS campus, which allows our students to access Google and the same learning platforms as our Hong Kong students. The Tea House is one of our students' favorite places to come during self-directed time. Here they enjoy hanging out with friends, playing music, and baking. Our math teachers also offer help sessions during the week, and some of our Discover U courses take place here as well. International SOS has been providing our school with medical care since we opened in 2013. All three of our nurses come from International SOS. When school is in session, we have one residential nurse and one daily nurse. The nurse station provides us with all the facilities that we could need to take care of our students, including an exam room and an observation room, as well as all of the materials that the nurses need for daily care. If a student feels unwell, he or she will come to the nurse station immediately. The nurse then follows the International SOS healthcare flowchart and makes a judgment as to whether the student needs to go to the hospital or not after consulting with the International SOS doctor. The nurse will communicate with the parents regarding the student's sickness treatment. All medicines are kept here at the nurse station where students come to take medicine. We have two partnership hospitals in Hangzhou where our students and staff have green channel privileges and our nurse accompanies students to the hospital throughout their treatment process. For the pandemic, we updated the healthcare flow chart to follow the guidelines from the China local CDC and the Hangzhou local authorities. Students learn how to use our washers and dryers during orientation. We have a shift schedule which allows boys and girls to do their laundry on alternating days. This is a student dorm, so come through and I'll show you around. You can see the living room, so this is where students can um, relax, do homework, um, hang out with their friends, but also it's the space where we have family time every evening with the coach mentor as part of our Better Being program. Um, there is a nightly topic and it's also an opportunity for them to relax together and bond as a dorm. Um, the coach mentor is part of our bilingual learning program. They live with the students in the room over here um, and they speak Chinese with our students um, to support their bilingual learning. This is one of the student bedrooms. There are three of these um, in each dorm and in each room there are four students who share the space. They have two showers and two bathrooms um, to share. Sleep is an integral part of our program here in ensuring student well-being. So we have an internal um, alarm system that goes off at 6.30 in the morning and lights go out at 10 p.m. to ensure that students have enough sleep each night. So this is our tech box. Um, students hand in all their tech at 9 p.m. Uh, and it stays in here until 6.30 a.m. This ensures that they are off their screens for an hour before bedtime at 10 p.m. Our cafeteria serves meals three times a day. 
We have a check-in system to ensure that all students attend all meals unless excused. The canteen provides a mix of Chinese and Western food, and our dedicated canteen staff often enhances the dining experience by offering theme meals for holidays and student-led whole school parties. We have worked with Chartwells, Compass Shanghai, a well-known catering company since the school was established, and Metro Supermarket is the only source of food for our canteen to ensure food safety. Welcome to our multifunctional health and fitness facilities. This is a safe environment for students to partake in the Better Being curriculum and also to look for individual excellence and their varsity sports. Here we see our track and field facilities which we share with our partner school, Greentown Educational Group. The PE curriculum as part of the Better Being program allows for student well-being and opportunities for growth in these safe and well-equipped facilities. We are a small community a small, close-knit boarding environment. We use China as our classroom to enhance our students' learning and their well-being. The strength and the soft skills they acquire throughout the year, the strong relationship they have built with their peers, with their teachers and coach mentors, will be with them for their whole lives.